Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Hey y'all, welcome back to Tommy Bikes TV So, today I'm going to review this right here The Power XL and I showed you quickly when I was doing um, a meal prep one time, but I never really went through it because I never actually read everything I needed to read on here. So I just went through some of it because I want to dehydrate some apples because I'm trying to um, just incorporate a little more healthier things and I want some chips. So I'm not gonna air fry mine. I've watched some videos, they air fry theirs. I'm gonna actually dehydrate mine and just see how this thing functions. So, as you can see from this, I'll show you the box. It has the door where you can open it up. Okay, so this is the Power XL. They already have it plugged up. You just open it up like that when you want to get anything out. These are your air racks right here. It comes with three air racks. This is actually an upside down. I didn't know how to do that. And then it has an airflow tray at the bottom. It just comes right out for you to clean. There we go. So you can put your rack as close together as far apart as you want it to be um, this little area right here I don't know if you can see in here this is where your rotisserie is gonna go because you can do a rotisserie in here you can either bake so I'm about to go over the buttons with you this is your power button here these are your adjustments for your temp over here and you have over here the timer that's the timer and then you you can do shrimp chicken pizza rotisserie this is your rotisserie button right here you got fries you got roast you got cake because you can bake in here um, fish you can do pretty much everything in here this button right here with the apple I don't know. there you go with the apple right here that's your dehydrator. This button right here works for the rotisserie. So when you put the, the um, attachments that came with it in there, you would hit that button as well. It came with the attachments for the rotisserie. And me and my daughter, because she bought this for me for Christmas, we did go through it to see how it goes. If I can get it out of the bag. I haven't used it yet, so I can't tell you how well it works with that, but you have these pieces right here. These are attachments that come off for easy cleaning, like that. And then, let's see. Well, I'm not gonna take the other one off. You would just poke this through your meat. So your meat is here, your chicken is here. Then you're gonna put this piece back on. This. What you would have to do is take this all out. You cannot have the racks, but keep this pan in here because you want that to be able to catch your drippings. This right here is so neat. I was like asking her, what is this, what is this? So this helps you grab this to get it out once the food is ready to keep you from burning yourself. When you're taking it out, if I'm not mistaken, these are little lifters right here. So be careful. I would say wear a glove or something. You would just come up on the creases. Say my life. One one piece at a time, basically. And that's how you're gonna get it out like that. And it's gonna sit on there like that. So it came with this recipe book. They have the fried food recipes. It also came with this dehydration book. Um, it has recipes in it. 
um, how to do vegetables, fruit, candy, bacon, um, veggie chips, dried herbs, beef jerky, croutons, sun-dried tomatoes, crispy green beans, almond granola, so you can make your own granola, dried mango slices, chewy kiwi slices, dried orange slices, strawberry roll-ups, and strawberry slices. I watched a few videos. They did the air fry apple apples, but they used like the cinnamon and also um, one of the people used salt because salt dries out, helps the fruit or whatever dry out faster. So I'm trying to watch my salt intake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dehydrate mine instead of air frying and I'm going to add some with cinnamon and some without just so I can see which one I like the best because I buy apple chips y'all but the ones that I buy I cannot find them anymore and those were the they were so good and they only sold them in like the bylos and all our bylos closed and I have not been able to find it I got one bag out of Sam's one time and they have not sold them again I wish I had just put a whole cart of those in there so let's move on i just got these nice and cleaned up you're gonna slice off the bottom end of your apple and the top so it should be like this so try to have a good knife seats you're gonna cut the seats out so like you have the seeds in here this is um, how thin I sliced mine you're just gonna you know get rid of the seeds poke them out whatever just get rid of them our ground cinnamon that we're gonna do on half of them Cinnamon is good for your diet as well, so I'm hoping I like them. Some might not have cinnamon on it because I'm not trying to drown them. So we're gonna start out with this bottom row. I'm just gonna line them up. I'm not gonna put them on top of each other. And I probably shouldn't have cut all of these at one time. broken pieces I'm just trying to stick those on here so we got one tray loaded at the very bottom next tray so I'm going to start loading some of the regular ones on here too because I'm trying to get as many in here done as I can. Let's fill our third and final tray up. Fill the corners with these broken pieces. These broken pieces. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to have this, but I got to wait. I'll pull that bottom one back out because I didn't have a lot on here. But I'll dehydrate and get all of the water out of these things, the juices out. So now I'm going to set it to 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 49 Celsius for two hours. So I'm going to hit the, well, the dehydrator button and it automatically puts in 120 and it automatically turns it on. I don't have to get anything else. I like that. We're going to set a timer though because that didn't come on. So we're going to do our timer at two hours and there we go. 
and I will bring y'all back and I can hit this button here and it'll give me a light so I don't have to open it and I, it allows me to see what I'm doing in there and how they're looking. So that is a plus with this. You don't have to open it up. Um, see y'all in two hours. TV time that is. Okay, y'all. So that book lied. When you're dehydrating fruit, it takes way longer than two hours to dehydrate. I know when I read the back of the dehydrator, the actual dehydrator, not the Power XL thing, the one I saw in Walmart, it said at least eight hours, six to eight hours. So the book said two hours. Y'all did two hours and it was still full of moisture. So I did an additional two hours, it was still full of moisture. And then when I talked to someone, they told me it's really more like six to eight hours. So I did an additional four hours on it. So all in all, I did eight hours. And this is what we have. And it's been sitting, so I can touch it. I don't need to wear anything. It's just warm now. These are the dehydrated apples. I already tasted one and it tastes good. Now these aren't like the ones that I thought they were gonna be like. So maybe those were the air fried ones that I was eating, but these are really good. They're sweet. All I did was put cinnamon on it. I didn't add sugar to it. And it tastes good and it's a healthy treat. So, Do not go by the two hours that the books say if you try to dehydrate in that Power XL. Just know it's gonna take you a little longer and that's fine. I probably still get me a dehydrator because I wanna dehydrate some fruit and stuff like that. These are so good. I'm not lying, these are so good. I'm gonna have to watch it though. So I'm gonna get me a um, cannon jar, I'll put them in the cannon jar. Cause these aren't gonna last me long. So they're not gonna go bad or anything like that. These will probably be gone by Wednesday, Tuesday. Today's Sunday. So you'll see this video on the 22nd, Monday. All right, y'all, y'all take care. It's been a long night. I'm still editing, it's 12, 26. For both the channels so it's gonna probably be 1 32 o'clock before i go to bed and i gotta stop doing that because my body needs to rest all right y'all y'all take care love y'all so much god loves you more bye so y'all this is the finished result i put them into my cannon jars and i've already eaten one <laughs>